Hello students. Today we discuss about our 12th economics first unit introduction to microeconomics and macroeconomics. As we know that in 11th standard we discuss about the economics what is the what is economics how the economics word is derived uh, what are the definition of economics economics is a social science it is related with production distribution consumption etc today we discuss about our introductory part of microeconomics and macroeconomics see both Micro and macroeconomics are the modern uh, branches of modern economics branches of uh, economics. First one is micro and second one is macroeconomics. Both words are derived from the Greek word micros which means small m i k r o s m i k r o s which means small or million part the term macro is also derived from the Greek word macros, which means large. Both terms are developed, you may say coin, by Ragnar Fish, Norwegian economics Ragnar Fish in Oslo University in 1933. By this way, these two terms are developed by Ragnar Fish in Oslo University in 1933. Let us see the scope of, let us see meaning of microeconomics. As we know that microeconomics, the word is derived from micros which means small. When we study the individual part in the economy, that individual part may be uh, demand analysis, may be demand, individual demand, may be supply, may be consumption, may be individual consumption, may be uh, investment, saving of individual person, that part is known as microeconomics. In microeconomics, we only study one thing, single thing single commodity, single things we study in microeconomics. See that single things, that single units is individual consumer, individual producer, individual firm or company or how the individual commodity prices are determined or that we discuss in our microeconomics. Let us see the definition of microeconomics. As we know that there are various definition, various definition by defined by various economics that is Morris Dobb, Kenneth Balding and A.P. Lerner. What he want to say? See, what he want to say? Morris Dobb. Morris Dobb, very simple, very easy definition is there. Microeconomics is in fact a microscopic study of the economy. As we know that microscope which observe the things in very, very detail, likewise we study our economy in depth, in detail, that is microeconomics. After that, another economics is there, AP Learner. AP Learner make comparison of our body organism with our economic organism. Our body organism perform their specific functions. Likewise, our economic organism means producer, individual consumer, uh, buyer, they also perform their, uh, also perform their, uh, also perform in their economy. We discuss in that economics. See, microeconomic consists of looking at the economy through a microscope. Likewise, Morris Dobb, he also says that microscope Microeconomics is the study of or looking of the economy with the help of microscope. It as it were to see how the millions of cells in the body of economy, the individual or household as a consumers and individual or firms as a producer play their part in the working of the whole economic organisms. Means we observe our economy with the help of microscope and see the millions of cells like uh, uh, millions of cells in body organism like Likewise, we see our millions of uh, economic organism and we discuss in our microeconomics. Microeconomics, like uh, the definition of Morris Dobb, he says that it is a microscopic study. 
take an example suppose a person suppose a person who are suffering from illness he ha he or she has a fever and he go for a doctor and doctor uh, doctor gives him prescription and says that uh, take that prescription if you are not cure visit uh, after uh, some time after some days okay and uh, uh, by taking the medicine and he can cannot be cured and he goes he uh, visit to the doctor and doctor says that uh, why you are not cured we, uh, we have to take a sample of your blood and uh, by this way by taking a sample of blood he analyze what he what is going on in his body likewise in our economy we take a sample of consumer buyers producers firm industry and make in depth study in detail study in our economy okay after that ap learner as we know he make a comparison of body organism with economic organism body organism perform their specific function likewise individual consumer producer and individual firm also perform their specific functions and that we study in microeconomics let us see the following chart gives the scope of microeconomics scope means what is the area of microeconomics see there is a three uh, points are included in scope of microeconomics in that sub points are also there theory of product pricing theory of factor pricing and theory of economic welfare after that in theory of product pricing two points are there that is demand analysis and supply analysis theory of factor pricing which includes four factors of production that is land uh, that is land labor capital entrepreneur and for uh, whenever you using these four factors of production in your organization we have to pay the rewards to that factors of production in the form of rent wages interest and profit theory of economic welfare welfare the word uh, used for the society well being of the people economic uh, th economic welfare also consists efficiency in production efficiency in consumption and overall economic efficiency let us see that points theory of product pricing whenever we use the product or pricing as we know that microeconomics is basically related with the pricing theory how the prices are determined in market it is based on both things that both things are demand and supply the prices of individual commodity is determined on the basis of demand unit and supply unit on that basis price is determined means when we use the word demand that is related with the buyer's behavior what buyers think what are the tendency of buyers we study we discuss in our microeconomics after that supply analysis supply means producer what producer think regarding supply the units regarding the supply activity what he uh, thinks that is discussed in microeconomics microeconomics is mainly related with the pricing theory product pricing theory that is the main of our microeconomics let us see theory of factor pricing whenever a producer producing goods and services he or she has to utilize four factors of production which are they land labor capital and entrepreneur by paying reward to these factors of production in the form of rent wages interest and profit respectively these four factors are very essential to producing goods and services after that theory of economic welfare when we use the word welfare it is related with the society it is related with the human being it is related with the people theory of welfare basically deals with the efficiency in the allocation of resources as we know that in 11th standard we see that our resources are limited and our wants are unlimited how we utilize how we make a proper decision of unlimited wants and limited or limited resources that decisions must be take in a proper manner economic efficiency means whenever a producer take a decision whenever a consumer take a decision he or she uh, 
whenever you take a decision regarding production activity, regarding consumption activity, he or she has to take a proper decision means or uh, take a maximum level of satisfaction by using these resources in our organization. Efficiency in production means whenever a producer produce goods and services he or she has to take uh, how much good uh, he has to he or she has she has to take uh, how much goods should be produced what goods should be produced when should be produced lots of various questions are regarding the production activity but but he ha he or she has to make a proper decision a one optimum decision you may say uh, a effect one effective or you may say efficiency in their decisions must be there and by this way definitely he maximize their profit level and also maximize the level of satisfaction see efficiency in production means producing maximum possible amount of goods and services from the given amount of resources how much resources are available how we utilize that proper decision must be taken by the producer efficiency in consumption see not only produce goods and services in firm, producer has to also distribute these goods and services in the market. And whenever he distribute the goods and services in the market, he or she has to take a proper decision. If his decision is proper, definitely he capture the market. Efficiency in consumption means distribution of produce goods, services among the people in consumption. Means ultimate, ultimately, we consume, we use that particular commodity from that market and what we want? We want satisfaction by consuming that particular commodity so that producer has to think about the consumption process. After that, overall economic efficiency. The word also shows that overall economic efficiency, whatever the decision may be there. Decision regarding resources, decision regarding human resources, decision regarding material resources, whatever the decision must be there, he or she has to take a proper manner. Or you may say whenever the production activity is performed in our organization must be think about what people want, what are the desire by the people. When we think about the desire by people, what people wants, what are the needs of the people, definitely, definitely we capture the whole or entire market and that is study in microeconomics. See microeconomic theory shows under what condition these efficiency are achieved. Whenever we want to efficiency, effectiveness in our production, consumption, overall economic efficiency, microeconomics uh, include some conditions are there. As we know that microeconomics is related or in, it is confined with the pricing theory. That price, product price, factor price, allocation of resources over. After that, it does not study, it does not study the aggregate or aggregate unit or entire unit or whole unit. It only and only study individual part in the economy. And also microeconomics does not study the nation voice problem. Lots of problems our country faces. Unemployment may be there. Poverty may be there, inequality income there, ba uh, balance of trade, balance of payment, in that also problems are there, uh, lots of problems we face, but uh, microeconomics does not study what are the problems and how we solve these problems. It means that microeconomics only and only make individual study not regarding the problems and solutions in our economy, that solution, that problems are definitely studied in macroeconomics part. See, what are the problems? This approach does not study national economic problems such as unemployment, person want to work but not getting job. That is very uh, big problem in our economy but that is not solved in microeconomics. Poverty, our basic needs are not fulfilled and lots of people are uh, below poverty line and that is not discussed in microeconomics. Inequality in income, someone is very rich, someone is very poor, no uh, basic needs can be fulfilled by that person, that is also not solved in microeconomics. Theory of growth and theory of business cycle, monetary and fiscal policy. See, theory of growth means it is related with the production 
it is related with the goods and services production theory of economic growth how much uh, production or services activity is performed in our economy that is not study in microeconomics business cycle in our in our life cycle also two trends are there some uh, sometime we we are very happy sometime we are very sad likewise in our business there is a uh, inflation is there deflation is there uh, very boom period is there very depressed period is there but that is not study in micro economics monetary policy means uh, policy which is framed by um, uh, RBI policy uh, that is framed by RBI you may say monetary policy how much money supply in market how much less money supply uh, whatever, whatever may be there maybe less supply is there maybe more supply is there but that is not study in microeconomics fiscal policy that is government's revenue expenditure how uh, we collect by the by the taxes direct taxes indirect taxes how much revenue we collect and how much we spend that is fiscal policy is related with the government policy and that is not uh, that is not uh, study or analyze in microeconomics it is the part of macroeconomics by this way definitely i think that you know what is microeconomics and meaning of microeconomics and scope of microeconomics